still hit like a bitch, motherfucker. Okay, so Equinox, our newest Warframe, the dual aspect Warframe who can switch between both day form and night form. The day aspect is a damage dealing support frame that can give a nice buff to you and your squad mates power strength, as well as increasing the damage on specific enemies with a rage debuff. And a night aspect for a support healing frame that can reduce incoming damage for you and your squad mates, as well as putting targets to sleep and having a nice squad heal for whenever things get a little bit nasty. It all sounds a bit complicated, but in truth, it's really, really not. Now, your energy color will determine which form you start each mission in. Dark colors, of course, for night form and bright colors, of course, for the day form. But if you want, you can easily switch between these two forms depending on your situation in the mission. If you're low on health, then switching to the night form and casting mend will help you top off your team's health in one or two kills. It is very effective. Or if you want to stun enemies and make them bleed a little, then switching to the day aspect and popping on Equinox's main ability will have enemies staggered while they take bleed damage, allowing you to kill them with ease. Now to build Equinox, you will need to farm more than a little bit. There are a lot of parts required to build this Warframe. Both the day and the night aspects of the frame are both needed to complete the build. So that's a day helmet and a night helmet, a day chassis and a night chassis, a day systems and a night systems, as well as the blueprints, former Arkan cells, about 175,000 credits, three days to build each aspect, and three day build for the final build as well. So you're going to have a little bit of a wait if you're looking to get your hands on Equinox, unless you fancy rushing everything or just buying Equinox with platinum, which will cost you about 325 platinum. And of course, to get each of these components, you are going to need to kill Till Rhaegar several times over. First Chroma and now Equinox, the build requirements for the newest frames seem to be getting a little bit bigger. And with each of these, the grind is increasing as well. And I guess with RNG, then building Equinox and Chroma can be a little bit of a pain in the arse. Unless you've been really lucky and you're already building it, then in that case, in a few days, you're going to have your very own Equinox. Now Equinox's ability set is a little bit daunting at first, but once you figure out if you prefer the healing side or the damage dealing side, then it all becomes that little bit clearer. So I'll go over the abilities first, then I'll talk about what I think of them and which I prefer. The simple thing to remember is that night is healing and day is damaging. And Equinox's first ability is called Metamorphosis, and this will allow you to switch between both your day and your night aspects. And it gives you a different ability set for each aspect you're in. It will also give you a temporary buff to shields and armor if you're in the night form, and a buff to speed and damage if you're in the day form. Now the second ability is called Rest and Rage. Rest for when you're in the night form will put an enemy to sleep, opening them up to finisher attacks. And in the day form, Rage will increase the damage the target takes and increase its movement speed as well. Now, Equinox's third ability is called Pacify and Provoke. And this is Equinox's aura ability or buff ability, depending on which aspect you're in. In the night aspect, it's an energy draining ability. So Equinox will cast an aura that will reduce incoming damage from enemies inside its radius. The damage reduction will increase depending on how close enemies are to Equinox. And for every enemy inside the aura's radius, the energy drain on Equinox will be increased. So more enemies inside the aura means there will be a faster drain on Equinox's energy. So unless you're modded for efficiency, you will find yourself out of energy very, very fast. And in the day aspect, this ability is called Provoke, and it is a squad buff that will increase the power strength of any Warframe standing inside the aura by a percentage, depending on Equinox's power strength. But each time a Warframe inside the radius casts an ability, your energy will be drained by an amount, depending on your efficiency. Equinox's ultimate ability is called Mend and Maim, and it's an energy draining ability that's highly affected by efficiency mod. Mend for when you're in the night form and Maim for when you're in the day form. So the Mend ability is of course Equinox's heal ability. It's another ranged aura and you can increase the range of this depending on what mod you've on. For every enemy killed inside the Mend radius, your Equinox will store up a percentage of damage from that kill. This might be increased depending on the enemy type. It seems to be a higher amount for ancients and heavy gunners and lower for the lighter enemy types. Once you've stored up enough, you can recast this ability to have it release all of the stored amount as a heal shared between you and your squad mates. And it's a pretty effective heal as well. You don't need a whole lot stored up to top off badly injured teammates. Several kills and then release it and you will find yourself fully healed. 
Now in the day aspect, your ultimate ability becomes maim. I actually almost said mam there. Yes, casting this towards Equinox into your mother enemies. Quick, run for the hills, mam is gonna get you. Not really. So maims are a will stagger enemies who enter it and deal slash damage to them once inside the aura. The slash damage can be a pretty high amount with enough power strength mods on your frame and the stagger will allow you to pick off your shots with ease. It's quite useful for bows and snipers I've found as it gives you them few seconds to pick your shot and kill your enemy. Now Mame also stores damage from kills much like Mend. For every enemy killed inside Mame's radius, you will store a percentage to be released later. But releasing this stored up amount will have a much different outcome. Releasing all of the stored up amount will cast a wave of slash damage, hitting all enemies inside the radius. Now this damage dealt will of course depend on how much you have stored up and how much power strength you have on your frame as well. I think I've seen my total amount stored up reach a little over 61,000 before it reset back down to zero. Now I'm not sure if this is a bug that it resets or if that is actually the limit that it can get to. So remember to release it before it resets. And with enough power strength, this can pretty much wipe out a very large group of enemies. Now Equinox also has a passive ability that works the same as the Equilibrium mod, only on a much, much smaller scale. For every energy globe picked up, you will gain 2.5 health. And for every health globe picked up, you will gain 2.5 energy. It's not that much, but hey, every little helps, so I won't be complaining. If you can get a little bit of health when you need it, then that's the easy way to do it. Also, if you switch forms, then any amount you have stored up for your ultimate, it will be lost. So if you've gone and stored 40,000 for the mend ability, and then you switch to the day aspect for maim, then you will lose that 40,000 that you had stored, and you will need to kind of build it up again. So you can't just switch from ability to ability and keep what you had stored up. That might be a little bit too overpowered. So what do I think of Equinox and its abilities? I'll be honest, I didn't think I'd enjoy this frame. Switching forms just felt like it would be a little bit too much of a hassle and switching between all of the different abilities, but it's actually a lot of fun. Whichever form you prefer is entirely up to you, but me personally, I'm loving the day form. It just feels like it works better for my playstyle. I love the slash damage and I love the fact that I can release all of those kills and wipe out a large group. Plus giving my squad a power strength increase on defense missions and that is really, really nice. These are outside of your pacifies radius. So they won't be dealing less damage to you until they step inside that radius. And if there's too many enemies inside pacifies radius, then the energy drain does start to pick up a lot faster and you will find yourself out of energy relatively quick unless you've got a decent amount of efficiency. Whereas with the day form provoke, won't drain any of your energy that's the the buff to your power strength and you can have a constant power strength buff on for you and your squad i think mine is sitting at around 45 percent or 50 percent in my day build at the minute but it's all about personal preference and i know some of my friends are running equinox for the night aspect for the constant heals for the squad so it's going to depend on what you as a player prefer i guess the good thing about running with equinox is you can switch to a healer or a damage dealer depending on your current situation and what's required. The builds for both are very very similar when modding. So if you're running as the day aspect and start to take a lot of damage then just back up, switch forms and heal yourself with a few kills. Then switch back to the night aspect and continue to kill everything in your path. Now once I've covered all of the update 17 content I'm pretty sure we're going to try a full squad of equinoxes in a high level mission to see how far we can get. So that should be a lot of fun. We're not entirely sure what weapon makeup we're going to do yet but we will talk about it, I guess in the next week or so. So I'll show you guys my two builds for both the night and the day aspect. I've modded both for just the number three ability and the number four abilities on Equinox. I don't really care about the sleep or the rage ability. All I really care about is pacify and provoke and mend and maim and both of these abilities are affected by power strength, efficiency and range. So for the day aspect I've modded for a little bit more power strength and efficiency with vitality, streamline, overextended, a blind rage 2 from the top, intensify, transient fortitude 1 from the top, primed flow 2 from the top. Now the reason that's 2 from the top is I simply have ran out of cores and of course I've got a fleeting expertise maxed as well. Now the mobilize utility mod I have on at the minute was just to check it out to see how much higher I could jump with it but you could easily equip a handspring or a rush or any of the new combination mods that have been uh, released in the game since update 17. 
So the mods I'm using for the night aspect are Vitality, Redirection, Stretch, of course Streamlined its tree from the top, Intensify, Transient Fortitude, Prime Flow and a Fleeting Expertise. So with the maxed out fleeting and with the Streamlined tree from the top, you're basically hitting the power efficiency cap. You can't go any higher, so any more of a mod is basically just a waste. So with this, basically your efficiency for both our number 3 ability and number 4 ability are at the maximum. So it allows your energy to drain at the lowest amount possible. And honestly, Equinox is a very, very fun frame. It's going to be fun to see what kind of combinations other players can come up with. Let me know in the comment section below if you're liking the look of Equinox, or if you're not, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Warframe, and as always, thanks very much for watching.